welcome to day 26. Today's pick is Ghana. Let's go. Ghana is a country in West Africa. Ghana is a multinational state, home to a variety of ethnic, linguistic and religious groups. Ghana's diverse geography and ecology ranges from coastal savannas to tropical rainforests. Ghana's growing economic prosperity and democratic political system have increased its regional influence in West Africa. The country was known for its large gold usage and hence was named the land of gold by the Arabs during the Trans-Saharan trade. English is the official language. Additionally, there are 11 languages. Ghanaian culture is a diverse mixture of the practices and beliefs of many different ethnic groups. During the 13th century, Ghanaians developed their unique art of Adinkra printing. Hand-printed and hand-embroidered Adinkra clothes were made and used exclusively by the 10 Ghanaian royalty for devotional ceremonies. Each of the motifs that make up the corpus of Adinkra symbolism has a name and meaning derived from a proverb, a historical event, human attitude, ethology, plant life form or shapes of inanimate and man-made objects. These are graphically rendered in stylized geometric shapes. The Adinkra symbols have a decorative function as tattoos but also represent objects that encapsulate evocative messages that convey traditional wisdom, aspects of their life or the environment. Ghana's traditional art, as well as its clothing, consists of many different colors. Each color symbolizing different things. Until its independence, Ghana was known as the Gold Coast. It was renamed Ghana, meaning Warrior King, to reflect the ancient Ghana Empire that flourished in West Africa during the 10th century. Traditional African masks play an important role in certain traditional African rituals and ceremonies. They are used for varied purposes like ensuring a good harvest, addressing tribal needs in time of peace or war, or conveying spiritual presences in initiation rituals or burial ceremonies. Some masks represent the spirits of deceased ancestors. Others symbolize totem animals, creatures important to a certain family or group. The wearer of the mask is often believed to be able to communicate to the being symbolized by it or to be possessed by who or what the mask represents. The art today features animal masks. Animal masks are quite common and is used to represent the spirit of animals. In many cases, an animal is also used as a symbol of specific virtues. For example, antelopes have a fundamental role in many cultures as representatives of agriculture. Their long horns representing the thriving growth of millet. The 
this was it for the artwork today do let me know what you think of this in the comments below please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much for watching